Professor, why isn't this a hyperbola? The way we typically see the CAPM presented is there's the expected return, there's the standard deviation, and the frontier looks something like that. Right. This is the standard. There's a, there's a risky asset frontier. I'll, I'll draw it a little better. Right. It's a hyperbola. Right. I've drawn this in front of classes many times. And then we add the risk-free rate and the tangency portfolio and all that business. So uh -huh. what's going on? Why does this look like this? Key difference. This is excess returns. So this is the mean variance frontier of zero cost portfolios, right. whereas the standard thing we draw is the mean variance frontier of actual returns that aren't zero cost portfolios. Zero is always an available zero cost portfolio. Put no money in, get no money out, right? That's the zero, zero cost okay. portfolio. So the mean variance frontier of zero cost portfolios is always a cone, even when, if there, if there were only risky assets, even when the mean variance frontier of actual returns looks like that. This is much more convenient and simple, which is why I'm using it. That one's underneath it all. I see. Okay, thank you.